Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Bala, working as a data scientist. With my usage of ClickSense, I would rate ClickSense 3 out of 5. And if you'd like to get more reviews on ClickSense, please feel free to click on the link below. So we never add any uh, data visualization tool at my workplace. So ClickSense was actually our first data visualization tool. But before kind of buying ClickSense, we did look into uh, other tools like uh, uh, Power BI, Lumera, Tableau, and kind of rev after reviewing all these tools, like uh, we decided to move forward with uh, ClickSense. And that's how we kind of started using it. So after reviewing like uh, all the data visualization, couple of data visualization tools, we move forward with ClickSense because uh, we felt like ClickSense was kind of more uh, user friendly with the developer side. So we were kind of uh, customize a lot of coding with uh, ClickSense when compared to other tools. So we were able to do a lot of uh, uh, coding uh, within uh, ClickSense to kind of build our data visualization apps. When it comes to installation, the support was actually the best part of ClickSense. They definitely have a good support. But when it comes to setup and installation, compared to tools like uh, uh, Power BI, we had to kind of, this uh, ClickSense is kind of little uh, hard and it requires like a lot of uh, support from ClickSense and our IT team to have it installed. So. Compared to Power BI, I feel like ClickSense needs some sort of improvement with uh, the integrity with other third-party softwares. If anyone would kind of trying to start with ClickSense, it's definitely worth looking into their uh, roadmap actually. So like there are big competitors out there who have a, a good amount of roadmap and their integrity is uh, with the other applications are much better than, uh, feel like they're a little better than ClickSense. So it's, it'll be advisable to kind of uh, look into the, int, uh, like uh, with what application you're trying to extract the data into these dashboards. So that's something like uh, anyone procuring uh, the software for the first time would need to look into it. And uh, it's something like, uh, this is more, you kind of need a lot of uh, expertise to have these dashboards built. The, so that's something like you need to look into the skill set to have these dashboards developed. 